Hey, what's up guys? I'm Mark from Austin Underground and today we're here with White Reaper. How y'all doing today? Pretty good. <laughs> Pretty good. Nice. So, this is y'all's third time at South by Southwest. How do you think it's been over the years? It gets easier. It gets easier? How so? Because we, we, know, we kind of know what we're doing now. Yeah, you get more of a feel of like how to play the crowd. Um, so which, so which artists and bands, uh, is there anyone here that you're like personally excited to see or you have seen? We haven't had much time to uh, go to shows and look, watch bands, but uh, I'd say it's, it's, it's best, it's better to just be able to hang out with friends that you haven't seen in a long time. Yeah, definitely. So after South by, y'all are going on tour. You excited about that? Is there any um, memorable experiences you've had from being on tour in the past? <laughs> Tony, that yeah, there you go. Uh, where do you be? Where do we start? We got chased by a maniac. Uh, like it was, we got in a car chase in Tacoma once. This guy followed us. That was pretty freaky. Uh, what else? You got your guitar smashed. <clears throat> I got my guitar smashed by someone that wasn't me. Uh, the Tacoma Maniac was pretty intense. This guy just chased us for no reason and it was really scary. I thought he was gonna kill us. Uh, you know, other than that, a lot of great a lot of great shopping malls across America that we, we go to all the time. There's some pretty great malls. Has there any been like musical influence that specifically happened while on the road? Like any like songwriting ideas that have come along? Oh, yeah. Maybe. <laughs> We usually drink like artisan water and uh, like Fiji, namely, and uh, that kind of how we think about our songs. We just relax, get some Fiji, think about music. Also, there's just so much time like where your brain is turned off, like when you're just driving, you're like sitting in the van, and that's the, it gives a lot of room for like thinking about stuff. So that's that's one thing. Nice. And uh, speaking of new songs, y'all have come out with Judy French and the World's Best American Band this year. What can you tell us about those songs? Uh, they're from our new record that's going to come out in like two or three weeks or something, I think. Two or three weeks? So that's like estimated release date? April it's April 8th. 7th. Er, okay. Yeah, 7th. Yeah, 7th. Which I think is two weeks away, right? Or three, uh, maybe. That's crazy. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But uh, those are they're very fun songs to play. They are. I'm a huge fan of the world's best American band. Is there any, is there any um, moments specifically that inspired some of the lyrics of those songs? Yeah, a lot of the lyrics are just based on like times we hung out or like things that we did together, like whether we were at home or on tour. Nice. Uh, so yeah, so new album like April seventh, you'd say. Nice. I have one last question for you guys. If you if you guys had to switch roles in the band, who would be the worst at their job? <laughs> Honestly, the worst uh, drummer ever. Yeah, me me. I was gonna say uh, I'm not a good drummer. I don't know. You said you're the worst drummer ever, Ryan. Very bad at drumming. I don't know, Nick. What do you what do you think? For me, I would be the worst at vocals, probably. None of us can play drums the way. No, none of us can play Nick's drums. <laughs> awesome. Well, that's all we have for today. If you guys want to follow White Reaper, you can check out their Spotify and anything else that they have on social media. And if you want to check out more from Austin Underground and more on South by Southwest, check us out on our social medias. See you guys later.